On Wednesday, Google announced it would soon change the way it would store and access users' opt-in, location history, in Google Maps, making the data retention period shorter, and making it impossible for the company to access it. That means it will no longer respond to geofence warrants, a controversial legal tool used by local and federal authorities to force Google to hand over information about all users within a given location during a specific time frame. Because geofence warrants, also known as reverse location searches, have the potential to implicate anyone who happens to be in the vicinity of a crime, Google's decision to end access to location data is a major win for privacy advocates and criminal defense attorneys who have long decried these warrants. The company confirmed the impact of the change to Forbes. A current Google employee who was not authorized to speak publicly told Forbes that along with the obvious privacy benefits of encrypting location data, Google made the move to explicitly bring an end to such dragnet location searches. The repository of everyone's location data dating back months or years was a hazard, and Google is trying to clean up that hazard, Jennifer Granick, an attorney with the American Civil Liberties Union, told Forbes. That is a real benefit for people's privacy for people's locations over time which is some of the most revealing information about us. Armed with facts about a criminal incident, and the vast location history data and associated device data from a geofence warrant, investigators would try to identify a suspect who might have committed a crime. These warrants are dangerous, wrote Jennifer Lynch, an attorney with the Electronic Frontier Foundation, in a Wednesday blog post. They threaten privacy and liberty because they not only provide police with sensitive data on individuals, they could turn innocent people into suspects. The change doesn't prevent the government from getting information on a specific user by demanding their full account details, the Google employee said. But investigators can no longer hand over some coordinates and a time frame, and compel Google to give it either identifying data or metadata on all users within those parameters. The move comes just days after the very first federal appellate court, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit, in Virginia, heard oral arguments in a case called United States v. Chattery, where it was asked to evaluate the fundamental legality of geofence warrants. The court's ruling, which only would cover five states largely along the eastern seaboard, will likely not come until next year. Good news from Google. I never thought I'd say that, said Michael Price, one of Chattery's lawyers and the litigation director for the Fourth Amendment Center at the National Association of Criminal Defense Lawyers. From a practical perspective, judges are often concerned about taking a tool away from law enforcement.